Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping in back into DaVinci Resolve. I know it's been a hot minute, but we're gonna jump into a tutorial a few of you have been asking about, and that is how to edit to music inside DaVinci Resolve. And I've got two really quick and easy techniques that are really gonna help you guys along when you're editing to music, whether it's for a music video or a travel video or whatever you plan to be using the music for. These two tricks are gonna really speed that process along. Now, I do wanna do a bit of a disclaimer for say like beginners jumping into this video that really there is no real quick and easy method to edit footage to music. It does tend to evolve a little bit of fiddling around. Honestly, that's the easiest way to get better looking overall products is to fiddle around a bit and not just cut to the beat. But these two tricks I'm gonna show you in this video are gonna really speed that process along, make it a lot easier for you guys to cut to the music and then fiddle around with it after you've done that. So yeah, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. All right guys, so we've created our new project in DaVinci Resolve. We've moved on over to the edit tab. Now we're going to import our media. So over here in the media pool, we're just gonna right click and go import media. And I'm just going to navigate to where I have all the media saved. And I'm just gonna bring it all in. And you're probably gonna have this come up if you've downloaded any sort of media or you have any videos that aren't the same as your project settings. I always just go don't change, figure it out as we go. So our project settings now, if we go to this cog down here, set to 1920 by 1080. Now, all these videos you see here are from pexels.com, a really great free source of stock footage. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And the music for this video was taken from epidemicsound.com. Again, link in the description should you wanna check that out, all royalty free. All right, so, now we need to create a new timeline. We can do that one of two ways. You can right click and go new timeline, or you can drag your audio down onto the timeline down below. If you drag the audio down first, it's going to create a timeline based on your project settings, which here is 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames a second. If for instance, you wanted to, I don't know, create a smaller timeline for whatever reason, that's where you would go timeline to create new timeline and in there, by going custom settings and going format, you can change it 1920 and you can select whatever you want. But for the sake of this video, all I'm gonna do is drag the audio, so the song we're going to be using, and I'm gonna drag it down here. And I'm just gonna zoom in. And here we have our audio clip. Now, if you cannot see the waveforms, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to this button over here, click on it, and this button here is going to show you the waveform of that audio track and then you have a few different settings here on how that particular waveform displays. Not really important, but just make sure you can see it. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is just drag the volume down a little bit. So just so we can see the top of the waveform like that. The first method is the one that I like to use. So what we're gonna do is go to the effects library, down to effects, and we're gonna drag an adjustment clip down onto the first video layer. And we're gonna extend that the length of the audio track. What we're gonna do is we're going to lock the audio track. So by doing that, we just hit this little lock button, nice and easy. And all that means is that if we go through here and start cutting, nothing's gonna happen because that track is completely locked. No edits will take place. So now all we really need to do is play this back and we're going to cut by using Command B or Control B if you're on a Windows machine. So we're gonna blade this adjustment clip on the beats we want to use. So I'm just gonna hit the space bar, play through and hit Command B on the beats that I want to use. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing because we don't have many video clips to use, but you get the idea. Now you would probably go through the whole clip and you just keep Command B or Control B cutting that adjustment clip up into different sections so that you end up with this sort of like chopped up adjustment clip. So you can see here we have all our little cuts here. And next, what we wanna do is go and get our video clips that we wanna put into the music video. So we're gonna go through here and you just really wanna go through and create in and out points for these video clips. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna create a little bit of an in and out point of the road there. And I'm just gonna go through all of them here and we're gonna just sort of this one here, 
here. These video clips are actually really, really good quality too. So I'm really impressed with Pexels. I love using them. I use it for all my tutorials. Just saves me from having to go out and film B-roll for every single video. Call it lazy. I call it smart. And I'm just hitting I to set an in point and O to set an out point there. Or you can use these two buttons here. All right. So next, what we want to do is position our playhead over the clip that we want to start with. So we're going to start with this first clip here and we're going to pick whichever, whichever video clip we think makes sense. So I reckon we're going to use this one first and all you want to do is click on that, make sure that that video clip is in your source viewer and you literally just want to click this button here or F11. So by clicking this button, it's going to replace the adjustment clip in the timeline with as much of this in and out portion as it can. Obviously, it's not going to fit the whole thing if the timing's not correct, but it will cut it from the, generally it cuts it from this end, shortens it down, and now you see here we have our clip. So I'm gonna to move to the next adjustment clip. I'm gonna find the next bit of footage we like, and let's just go with this one. Again, double click so it's in our thing. Oh, well, we've lost our out point there. Let's just set our out point, and again, as long as our timeline, our playhead is over the adjustment clip we want to change, just hit the override button or the replace clip button. Boom, done. Move to the next one. And we're going to, again, just going to use this one. Boom, nice and easy. And again to the next one. Boom, nice and easy. And let's just for sakes, let's grab the back end of this footage, which is a little bit different. So we're just going to go I and O. So if we were to play all this back from the start, we'll see how it goes. So as you can see, that was a really easy way to quickly cut together our music video. And of course you would wanna go through this whole section here and do that as well. So that is one way we can add clips to the beat of music. Let's do another one. So this one has a little bit less freedom because you're just directly overriding the clips. This next one that I sometimes use, it always depends on sort of the circumstances, gives you a little bit more freedom. So we're gonna delete that adjustment clip. I'm gonna zoom in. And this time what we're going to do is we're just gonna hit the M key on our keyboard. And what that does is add markers throughout this video track. And the good thing about markers is if you have snapping on, it snaps to the markers. So we're gonna quickly delete all them markers and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did at the start. We're gonna play the audio back and we're gonna hit the M key this time on each beat that we want to cut to. And you get the idea. And again, you'd go through this entire entire song and get every bit of every marker on. So moving back to the start. So the reason why this one is a little bit more control is because we can't just override the clips. We're gonna have to manually drag them in. So by doing that, we double click on our video clip that we want and click and drag from this viewer and just down here. So as you can see, it's bringing the whole video clip in this time. And this allows us to shorten it and you can see that it will snap to the marker there. So if I extend it, it'll snap to the markers, which is awesome. And the good thing about this is that, so we can have it play here for this first little beat, but if we didn't, if through our editing and you know creating our story for our music video, we decided we didn't want to cut to that marker, we could easily just go done. And we're going to cut on this one. So what we're going to do here, let's open, let's open this bit of footage up and we're going to hit out in and out points, I'm gonna click and drag, I'm gonna just smack her down there. And again, so now if we play this back. So now we want it to end on this marker here. So we're gonna drag the end of this video clip down. It's gonna to snap to that marker there and let's grab our next clip. Now with this clip, it has video and audio. You can see that by the fact that it's got this little film strip icon here and the sort of audio, whatever that is. Anyway. We're just gonna to wanna to drag the video down. We don't want the audio, so to do that, when you hover over it in the source viewer, you're just gonna grab that, click that and drag it, and you're gonna get it there. Now this clip is actually pretty close to what we want, so we're just gonna drag that down the back there. And we're gonna do it for the bottom one here as well. 
But you know what? Let's make this one longer. Let's make this one the length of two beats. So as you can see there, that is another way to edit to the beat in DaVinci Resolve, but it just has a little bit more flexibility and allows you to sort of flesh out the music video a little bit easier than say if you have the adjustment layer on top. You could always mix and match these different methods. I tend to think they have their own sort of place. If I have a really clear cut idea on how the music video is going to go, I generally find that the adjustment layer version will work a little bit better for me. However, I find that if I don't have a really good idea, I don't have any storyboards, then this marker idea tends to give me a little bit more flexibility and allows me to experiment a little bit more when creating the music video. But anyway, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you got some tips out of it. Let me know in the comments section down below if you found it helpful. And again, like I said, all the video clips used in this tutorial were taken from pexels.com, a great royalty-free site. Check them out down below. Music from Epidemic Sound, like a lot of YouTubers out there. And yeah, until the next video, guys, see ya.